Hey guys, your inner chakras, welcome back to the channel, guys. If you are new, you are welcome. Come on through. We're starting with his story, right? And the reason why we're doing his story is because it's majority women over here, feminine energy, whatever. But we're going to pull his story. See what's going on with your person right now. Holy Spirit. If you saw the reading before this, guys, they're reading cards on you or looking at readings on you. So, whatever. Holy Spirit, what's going on with your person right now or the person that's on your mind? What is his story? My feelings for you have always been real regardless of my choices. So, whether they cheated, lied, didn't show up, didn't do this, promised one thing, did another, blah, blah, blah. It still doesn't negate the fact that their feelings for you have always been real. Choices may have been wrong, right? But their feelings for you have always been real. The way that they feel about you, whether they love you, blah, blah, blah. And you intimidate me completely. I don't even know where to begin with you now. So they're kind of hesitant when it comes to you. Kind of, I don't know how to approach this bull right they don't know they don't know how to approach it so you intimidate them right oh spirits I, I didn't know about soulmates or twin flames until you until you and that scared me it pushed me away having to hear it so maybe you mentioned to this person oh i think we're soulmates i think we're twin flames maybe you text them something or maybe you text them something about soulmates read this because i've done that before and I'm like, read this. This is Twin Flame. Read this. This is real. Read this. And you know, that's what women do. I mean, we share things, especially when it comes to love. So maybe you did that. And when you did it, it scared the mm out of them, right? I just saw 212. It scared them. It made them run a little bit. Holy Spirit, what is going on? What? Holy Spirit, your body language says so much. So they could be watching you if they don't see you in person. And if you're online, they're reading your body language. Your body language to them is saying certain things. In their mind, it's saying this. In their mind, it's saying that. But do they really know? Do they really know? Especially if they're watching like on... Um, like the internet or something body language is anything like for me sometimes when i post pictures like when i post pictures and y'all see my hair is combed and all that stuff <laughs> and i'm looking cute guys that's a moment right i just saw three one three because for one i'm always home i work from home unless i have plans to go out blah blah blah, blah. so nine times out of ten is jeans sweats hoodies i'm comfortable right i'm in the house right Hell, I haven't even worn my shoes because there's no reason for it. I put on sneakers in the house, there's no shoes. So it's like some days I don't even put on shoes. But on the days when y'all see me and I'm looking cute, that's because I said, you know what? I need to post some new photos today. I'm not even gonna lie. I need to post some photos today. So I do my hair real quick, scrunch, 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 do my hair, makeup, put on an outfit. It takes me about 20 to 30 minutes to get a few snaps, 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 snaps. And then I give them to y'all like over a week or two. I'll take like 10 different photos, couple videos. And then I just post them like on my Instagram or sometime on here, you know, or on TikTok. And people think you're looking cute every day. And that's not the case. <laughs> At least not for me. I mean, I get up every day and I look cute, but I'm not dressed up every day. So that body language, watching someone on their socials means nothing. Because I can tell you, a lot of women do that. They get up because, okay, yeah, I got to work this internet. I get up, got to get dressed, got to put on my makeup and show people I put on my makeup. And then right after they put on that full face of makeup, they're taking that crap off, pulling their hair back into a ponytail, putting their sweats back on, and chilling. Right? So, hmm, they're, they're trying to read your body language, right? I don't know. They're trying. Holy Spirit, to each his own. I forgive you. They forgive you? 
What you do? They forgive you. They forgive you for whatever you did. They forgive you for whatever you did. Whatever you did or didn't do. Let's check their uh, psychology. Love psychology. One on one. Holy Spirit, where is this person at mentally when it comes to the collective or just with themselves? It's all about you. Mentally, they're thinking about you. Their thoughts are of you. Their processes are of you. They're thinking about you. Period. Amen. That's what's going on with their psyche right now. Their psyche is filled with you. They forgive you though. What they forgiving you for? What you do? Walk away. They're tongue-tied and speechless over you. And that comes in. That's attached itself to you intimidate me. So they don't even know what to say to you. They're speechless. They don't even know how to approach you anymore, right? And I like living alone. So this person lives alone. This person is a bachelor. They're single, single. They like living alone. Okay. That's good to know. At least you know that, right? That's good to know. That's all good to know. Holy Spirit. What is going on? I like living alone. Hell, you probably like living alone too. I think the older we get, because it's like nobody wants to, you know, in this world alone. But I think sometimes as people get older, you do like living alone, especially if, say, you was in a relationship and then it ends and then now you're in your own place by yourself. And then you get comfortable in your own place and you have it set up a certain way. You don't have to share your bathroom. You don't have to do this, da 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 And people do get comfortable. They get set in their ways, right? They get they get set in their ways, men and women, especially when you're older. It's like it's less of a headache. It's, you know, I don't know, to each his own. Holy Spirit. I'm my own band. So I make myself laugh play, cry, like I'm just, I'm all over the place, right? So I don't know how other people are. I just think people are just more free when you by yourself, but they like living alone. Holy Spirit, what's going on with this person? They're rethinking everything, thinking back, thinking about pursuing you again. That's for sure. They don't have any regrets though about what happened between the two of you or what went down. They don't have any regrets. Either that or they feel like you don't have any regrets because they said they forgive you. Maybe they feel like you moved on, right? And you don't have any regrets. I don't know. They see you reaping your reward from your hard work. They've been watching you. They're definitely watching you. Yeah, see, you moved on. You ended things with this person and you kept going. And they feel like you don't have any regrets. But they said they forgive you. This person still love you. Ace of Cups here. They still love you. And they don't want you to walk away. They don't want you to... They want you back, right? Maybe they have a fear of change. I don't know. Holy Spirit. What are they forgiving the collective about? I forgive you. Holy Spirit, clarify this forgiveness. What are they forgiving you for? For your new beginnings. Because you kept going. You created new beginnings for yourself. You moved on. They forgive you for moving on. But they still want you back. They say, yeah, you left me. That's fine. I still want that donkey back, right? They still want you back. <laughs> Guys, if this is your first time here, I say donkey because you can't really say ASS on YouTube. Um, but they want you back, that's for sure. And they feel that things will work this time. Three of Pentacles. I guess they're going to give you what you asked for. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. They feel like they lost you. 
and they're just tongue tied. They're speechless. They don't even know what to say. This is that King of Cups again. This person is still carrying you in their heart. They like living alone. Spirit, clarify this. I like living alone. That's fine. Don't nobody want you all up in a mess anyway, right? You just make sure when you come and visit, you take your ish with you. Don't leave a toothbrush. Don't leave this. Don't leave that. Don't leave this. Don't leave that, right? Don't mm, take it with you. Come with a bag, you leave with a bag. Since you like living alone. Come with a bag, you leave with your bag. Sometimes people, guys, people try to come over and they're in your place or whatever. And they'll try to leave certain things to make sure there's no other man there or whatever it is. Baby. There's a little box for that. There's a closet for that, right? If you like living alone, like living alone. Holy Spirit, clarify they like living alone. They like living alone because they're involved with other people. They probably have all these other people on heavy rotation, Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, right? I just saw 11, 11. That's why they like living alone because this person's busy. Spirit, clarify this five of wands. And that's why their life is not coming together with the magician in reverse. They can't manifest the life that they want because they don't know what they want because they're involved with so many other people. Mm. Holy Spirit, clarify this magician in reverse. Two of Cups. See, what they want is you. But their energy and spirit is not going to let this person come to you when they still doing some dumb crap, right? Spirit's not going to do that when they're not on the up and up. No. But they clearly want you. Holy Spirit, Eight of Cups in reverse. They definitely want you. They're up in their head about it, too. They're up in their head about you. You fulfill them emotionally. This person don't know if they want you, don't want you. They definitely like living alone. And you fine with that, too, because you single and abundant, too. You probably like living alone, too. Holy Spirit. Anything else about this person the collective need to know? What are they planning? They're thinking about the past. Six of Cups. All the good times that you two had. All the fun. All the laughter. The jokes. The silliness. And they're into something. They're coming out of a connection. Maybe that's why they like living alone. Maybe they're newly divorced. Newly separated. And, and that's a thing too. You, you know you're newly separated or whatever. People do like living alone. You just broke up with somebody you've been with for a while. You've been living with them. Of course you like living alone. Right? Of course. Of course. Yeah. They left for lovers. Lovers in reverse. Two lovers. Lovers in reverse. And they want to come and tell you their truth. They want to come and tell you their story. They said they forgive you for moving on. They need to forgive themselves for what they have done. Right? Holy Spirit, anything else? They may feel like you have options. They're still healing their heart, but they forgive you. And this is what they want with you, the Ace of Pentacles. That's what they want. They want everything with you. They don't want whatever you had with them to be over. They don't want it to be over, guys. No, they don't. They want to try and try again, right? My mom used to say that to us when we was young. It's like you mess up on something and she'd be like, try and try again. I couldn't stand it. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. Peace.